Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to show how to calculate the topographic wetness index. The topographic wetness index is defined as the natural logarithm of the upslope draining area divided by the tangent of the slope in radians. And this is calculated for each uh, pixel of a DEM. In this video I'm going to explain how to calculate that with the PC Raster Tools plugin and then how to develop a Python script that you can also use to wrap into a processing script that can be used uh, with a user interface. So let's start with converting this uh, 50 centimeter DTM to the PC raster format. Output data type is scalar and I call the output DTM. I use here uh, lowercase to distinguish it from the TIFF file in the layers panel. And now I can calculate the slope using the slope tool, which will result in a slope fraction. So I'm going to give an output name that reminds us that this is the slope fraction. Now let's style the slope map to make more sense of the result. Use a single map pseudo color renderer. And I choose a color ramp. Let's use this one so we can uh, see uh, the extremes. And for the flow accumulation, we need to first calculate the local drain direction map, flow direction. So I use the LDD create tool. Use the DTM as an uh, input. Keep the defaults so all the sinks will be filled. And I call this flow direction. And there's the result. Now we can uh, calculate the flow accumulation using Acuflux, but it still needs a material layer. I still need to close uh, LDD create. So I use the spatial tool and I give it value 1 as a scalar. So it will create a raster with scalar 1 values. That will be our material uh, layer which means that uh, if I do the flow accumulation, that it will accumulate uh, the number of pixels, in fact. So here I choose flow direction in Acuflux and material, and I give the output name flow accumulation. Here's the result. Let's style it. So flow accumulation always has uh, extreme values. So you need to play a bit with uh, the settings and uh, it's also good to uh, invert it that the more blue, the more water accumulates and then choose maybe a more appropriate uh, ramp. And uh, here we see where most uh, water will accumulate. So the Acuflux function now gave us uh, the amount of upstream pixels that drain to each pixel, but that's not the upstream area. So we need to get the cell area with the cell area tool which calculates the uh, surface area of each pixel. And we can use that then later in the calculation to multiply it with uh, Acuflux. So I call the output here cell area. I run it. And here for each cell, it has uh, the area. So this is a 50 centimeter DEM and it returns uh, 0 0.25, which makes sense. So now we have all the terms for the calculation and we can go to the raster calculator to uh, fill in the equation, natural logarithm, and uh, flow accumulation times the cell area. And uh, that needs to be put in brackets. And then we divide it by tangent of the slope fraction, which I want to make into percentage by multiplying by 100. And we need it in radians, and there's a conversion factor which converts percentage to uh, radians that I'm going to paste here. Then I need some uh, brackets to close the equation. So here we have uh, the equation of the topographic uh, wetness index. Just be careful if your slopes have a value of uh, zero, then that will give problems. So you need to correct for that if uh, that's the case. In our case, we don't have zero. So run it and uh, 
we can inspect uh, the result. So let's style it to make a bit more sense out of this. If I use the cumulative count, it gives more uh, contrast with uh, the extreme values. And here we see the patterns. Well, the coarser your DEM is, the more uh, general patterns you will see. And here we see uh, very detailed uh, patterns. Let's try another uh, color ramp. And we can blend this with uh, the hill shade to see some more details. Well, there was a lot of uh, clicking to come to this nice result, but we can also use uh, Python because PC Raster is a Python package. And if you can use the PC Raster tools plugin, you have installed the package. So I'm going to uh, here in the Python console of QGIS import the PC Raster uh, package. And um, I'm going to read a map from the disk, a PC Raster map. So I'm going to copy the path from the layer properties, you can click right and uh, copy the link. And there I paste it as a string and I remove the first part. And this is the way to uh, read uh, PC raster maps from disk. And I can now use the DTM variable to refer to that uh, file. So I can calculate the slope fraction and I can use the slope function, which is exactly the same name as the tools in the PC Raster Tools plugin. And in those tools, you can click to the documentation to uh, find out how uh, the script works. So here I calculate the slope fraction from the deep TM. And I can also calculate now the slope percentage. And you can see you can do easy map algebra here. So I do slope fraction times 100 to just simply get the percentage. And we need it in radians. So I do slope percentage time that uh, constant. Now it's always good to uh, comment your scripts. So here we calculate uh, the slope. And now we're going to calculate the uh, flow accumulation. Let's create some more space. And what we need is the flow direction. Let's call the variable LDD for local drain direction. I use the LDD create tool or function in this case. Input is a DTM and then I set all uh, the arguments to uh, a very large value to make sure that uh, all the things are filled. And then I can calculate the flow accumulation by using Accuflux as we did before, as an input, the LDD. And for material, we can just uh, use a value one. So we don't need the spatial function to make this one uh, into a spatial that will be automatically done uh, in this uh, Python code. And we can uh, save intermediate results using the report uh, function. So it starts with, uh, as an argument, the variable, and then in quotes, the path to the file name that will be the output file name. And don't forget to also give the file extension. And let's also uh, report the flow accumulation to disk. Copy the path. Yeah, let's call it flow.map. And now we can calculate the topographic wetness index because we have all the terms. So natural logarithm of the flow accumulation times the cell area and then divided by the tangent of slope radians. And make sure you have enough brackets to uh, close the equation. And then we can write it to disk. We can uh, save the Python script and uh, run it to produce these results. We can find the result in the folder and drag it to the map canvas and then uh, simply copy uh, the style and uh, we can inspect it. Just only one thing that happened is that it uh, lost the projection which you can still uh, assign of course because PC Raster doesn't uh, deal with uh, projections. 
So that's already more efficient than uh, clicking. But uh, the next step is to make it into a tool in the processing toolbox. And uh, for doing that, I need examples from uh, other tools that I can simply edit. So I'm going to install the QGIS resource sharing plugin. And I click the new button there. And I'm going to add uh, a resource, a repository uh, with PC raster scripts and models. You can find it in this uh, repository. And what you need to do is uh, copy the URL and paste it here. And add dot git. Don't forget that, otherwise it will not work. And here you see that there are uh, three collections in that repository. They're also added here. And we can install these collections. So I want to uh, look at the examples in the user script collection. So there are already seven scripts there that are now added to QGIS. And I'll also show that there are also models there. Don't use the other um, script collection because uh, that has been replaced by the plugin. So you see here that it has the user scripts. And here we have the models that are added in this way. So now we are going to translate our Python script to a processing script. And we are going to edit an existing one. It's always easy to work from an existing one and to take that as an example. And what you see here is a much better way of importing uh, the PC raster package. We import in our uh, previous example the entire package, but here we only import the uh, operators that we are using, which is uh, good practice. So we have cell area. To set clone is always needed, read map is needed. We use slope. And we use LDD create. And Aquiflux. And report. If we miss something there, we will uh, get an error, and you'll see that later we'll get some errors, and you can uh, fix that easily. So now you just need to. Uh, change a few things there. So we change the class name of the algorithm and we change it to TWI. So each of these uh, class names need to be uh, unique for the algorithm that you're going to add. And here we use the same name to create the instance. And here under name, that's just an internal reference. So uh, it gives there some guidelines. So only use lowercase. So I call it uh, TWI. And then the display name, this is what the user sees. So I'm going to make a nice name here and I call this uh, topographic wetness index. And we keep the PC raster user script so they end up there in the group. And here is the short help string where you can uh, describe uh, the tool and uh, what it uh, needs as input and what it produces as output. So I'm just going to type here that it calculates the topographic wetness index from a DTM. And then the input raster is the DTM, so I'll make that clear. And the output is then the TWI. And both are scalar. Then here you have how the user sees that in the interface. So the user will see that it has to choose a DTM layer as an input. And here it will see in the interface that it uh, outputs a TWI layer. And here under process algorithm is in fact uh, the script. And I'm going to uh, delete what we uh, don't need. And I am going to replace this by DTM which reads the uh, path using a read map. And then I copy what we uh, had in our previous Python script. So to calculate the slope, that's all exactly the same. Do the same for flow accumulation. I'm not going to uh, report intermediate uh, results because that will make the tool only slower and uh, could add that to the interface that those are other things that are uh, saved. But here we only save the result. 
And here we just uh, change the report to TWI and it uses the output file path that the user has chosen. And then uh, the rest will keep the same. And I save the script under a new name. That's important not to overwrite the example. And I call this uh, PC Raster TWI algorithm. Now under scripts, you can find this uh, script, which I can run. It has an interface, as you see, as we defined. Input is DTM, and I can save the uh, output. And let's call it test TWI, and then I can run it. Now we see that it uh, gives an error that uh, it misses some of the operators that we use. So we didn't add LN and we didn't add uh, the tangent operator. So now I've added that to the script. And uh, let's run it again. And here's the result in the layers panel and I can uh, copy the style and uh, we'll see that it's uh, exactly the same. So that all works. So our tool is ready for uh, dissemination. So what you can do is um, uh, do a pull request in uh, the repository. So what I'm going to do is open my uh, profile folder to see where the file is stored and it's stored there under processing scripts. There it is. And then I go to my uh, repo and I'm going to go to the place where it needs to be added, which is under processing PC raster user scripts. And I'm going to drag it there and I can uh, commit uh, the changes. And now it's available for other users who use the resource sharing plugin and it will be added to their uh, processing toolbox. So I hope uh, this video is very useful and that uh, maybe some of you want to add uh, useful scripts and share it with others through the resource sharing plugin. If you're interested in uh, more of these videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, looking forward to see you next time.